troubling that we never sense the truth about Kira when Master Kuix brought her to us. That makes her especially dangerous. She can't be allowed to remain free. Galen? What happened to you? When I resist, the pain. He always wins. Fight harder. I'll help. I'll break his control over you. I promise. Too late. He's here. Nothing more irritating than a Jedi who won't die. Your constant interruptions must end. Your former ally will be your executioner. The new Agent Galen's power is matched only by his obedience. You're a coward. Face me yourself. Or are you scared you'll wind up like Tarnus? Tarnus was a child, like you. Beneath me. Galen, destroy my enemy. No. I'd rather die. Control factor six initiated. Neural override complete. Launching elimination protocol. Target? Jedi. I told you. He always wins. Come on, Galen. Snap out of it. Now. Come on. Stop it. I'm... I'm in control. Good. All that damage you did finally spread to the neural overrides. Only temporary, though. I can already feel my systems repairing themselves. No. I'll help you. Tell me how to free you from the Sith's control. Can't remove the machines without killing me. But I don't matter anymore. Yes, you the do. Sith Lord, Lord Static, has the Republic's Mark III power guards, cybernetically enhanced soldiers armed with advanced weapons. Sadik plans to build hundreds more, all controlled by him, an army to conquer Nar Shaddaa. He'd war with the Huts? I doubt the locals will lay down without a fight. The Huts are cowards. In the end, they'll surrender to save their fat hides. Sadik's building his army in Shadow Town, an Imperial-controlled sector. Nastiest people on Nar Shaddaa. And that's saying a lot. I'll give you the coordinates. Ah! Neural overrides restarting. There's nothing else to do. Kill me. No, I can't do that. There must be a way to free you. Give me time to defeat Sadik. Free me? From this? Even without Sadik controlling me, I won't live like this. Help me defeat Sith, Galen. Hold on, Galen. We need to face Sadik together. We're the only people who can bring him to justice for what he's done. Are you with me? Don't know how long I can resist his commands, but I'll try. Save her if we don't travel together. Just in case. I'll meet you inside Sadik's base in Shadowtown. Hurry. We don't have much time. Oh, I'll be there. Hi guys! Welcome back to Sutor. Or welcome to my channel if you're you new. You know what they say about all work and no play. We could use a hobby or something. Hobby... I don't see you taking up knitting, Kira. Let's say we go find a nice cantina later after this, okay? I promise.
are strong to have made it this far, but not strong enough. I am more than Sith now. Much more. He's tall. I'll give him that. Remarkable technology. So versatile. I just calculated 17 different ways to end your life. Just give it up already. All that hardware won't save you from me. I've run the numbers. You overestimate your chances. A shame you'll never understand what true power feels like. Perhaps I'll add you to my army after all. Darth Angrel would appreciate that. No, we'll kill you first. Agent Galen, still functional? Let me rectify that. Control Factor 10 initiated. <coughs> Obey me, or I'll tear your mind apart. Fight back, Galen. Keep him busy, Agent. I'll do the rest. Now, everyone okay? Oh. There they are. Don't look so surprised. It's our job to follow people. Right. Agent Diaz planted a tracker on you back at headquarters. Standard operating procedure. No offense intended. Uh-huh. Would have been here sooner, but getting into Imperial territory without a lightsaber is complicated. Yeah. Where did you get these troops? This is Black Star Squad, a special operations team. General Varsuthra pulled in a favor with General Garza. Got him here quick. We're demolishing this location. Make sure the enemy can't recover anything useful. Good. I'll stay and die with this place. No, you won't. Galen? You've changed. Oh, shut up. I'm dangerous. I should be destroyed. No, you... No. No. Inside, you're the same man you've always been. A hero. The SIS looks after its own, Galen. We'll help you. Just get me out of here. Lieutenant, prep this man for extraction. Sir, I've located the Power Guard files, including notes on how the Sith controlled them. Orders? Destroy the damn thing. That technology is too horrible to exist. Erase the data. I disagree, but I'm ready to be done with this. Go ahead, Agent Diaz. You should check in with General Varsuthra. We'll be right behind you. Just need to plant the incendiary charges. It was interesting working with you. Good luck. Working against me, you mean? We narrowly escaped a major disaster, General, but a lot of good people died. Chief Raikin and his agents are a terrible loss. What happened to Galen? Well, at least he's alive. This turned from Special Agent Tander. His team eradicated all trace of what happened at that Sith base. Good. Thank you for destroying the Power Guard files. Approving that project was the biggest mistake of my career. Yeah. Never let fear compromise your ideals. If only it were that simple. The Republic's position on Nar Shadda is precarious at best. Better for everyone if this operation remains classified. I'm sealing all records of what happened here. You, me, and the SIS are the only ones who know the full story. I'm not gonna lie for you. If anyone else confronts me about this, I won't lie for you. I'm not asking you to lie. Just use some discretion. I know you're probably exhausted, but the enemy hasn't given up. Neither can we. A major tactical advantage has just opened up, but you have to act quickly. What? One of Darth Angrel's closest advisors, Admiral Hacklin, asked us for asylum. He wants to defect. Right. I was with Angrel when he interrogated me on Ord Mantell. They seemed chummy. What changed? I'm not sure, but the Admiral is on the run. There are unconfirmed reports Hacklin's earned a death mark. This is obviously a trap. One of Darth Angrel's top men turned traitor? That's too convenient. 
Exactly. This is obviously a trap. Mm -hmm. Ackland wouldn't like be I the said. first high-ranking Imperial to switch sides. Until we know otherwise, we have to believe this is real. Kira obviously made an impression on the Admiral and Lord Mantell. He says he'll only surrender to her. Oh, that's... I have a bad feeling about this. A bad feeling? No time to negotiate. Admiral Hackland's expecting you to, and no one else. I told him to wait for you at an old asteroid mining facility. I'm uploading the coordinates now. I'm past bad feelings. What can you tell me about this place? The mining facility is abandoned and well off standard hyperspace routes. It's the safest place we could find for the Admiral. Be careful out there. Yeah, um... Sure. He just happened to want to defect now. Oh well. We will be prepared for whatever. Right, Kira? A rock. Well. They're all rocks. Greetings. I am Vallis. Your quick response is most appreciated. I'll Please bet. forgive the deception. Admiral Hacklin remains Darth Angrel's faithful servant. His name simply made this meeting convenient. He's a Sith. Kill him. Wait a second, oh, Kira. Really? Is that any way to treat your family? Family? What do you mean? Family. Kira. You know this man? Don't listen to him. He's trying to confuse you. Us. Your Padawan isn't who you think. She's no Jedi. She's a child of the Emperor. Like me. And it's time she returned to our father's warm embrace. What do you mean, child of the Emperor? I've never heard of any Emperor's children. Who are you people? The Chosen Ones. Selected at birth to serve our father's great glory. A distinction we should wear with pride. Don't deny your true lineage. I'm not a Sith. Don't let him turn you against me. We can defeat him. Together. We have no quarrel, Jedi. Return to your ship and let Kira come home. The Emperor wills it. <laughs> he wills it? Screw the Emperor. The Emperor has no power here. I do. Your self-delusions are irrelevant. There's no escaping your destiny, Kira. Thanks to your little brush with Darth Angrel, the Emperor knows you're alive and where to find you. No matter where you go, Father sees you. He sees you right now. And he wants you back. I'd rather die than see him again. So be it, sister. Alright, let's do this, Kira. Oh, what the hell is he doing to me? I don't feel so good. Oh. Hang on, Kira, I'm coming. Let her go. Wow. What's going on, Kira? Why didn't you tell me? May the Force be with us. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. We're not done with this, this this talk. I should have told you the truth a long time ago. Mm -hmm. My parents were Sith, but the Emperor isn't my father. Child of the Emperor is just a title. I was taken from my parents when I was a baby. Raised in the Sith Academy with others like Vallis. It was... Brutal. Damn, Kira. I'm sorry. I can only imagine the pain you must have endured. Pain became normal. There were worse things. Every so often, the other children were taken to see our father. They came back different. Nobody ever remembered meeting the Emperor. And one day, I realized I couldn't remember anything from the past week. They were doing the same thing to me. So... You ran away. I'm starting to understand. 
You escaped the Sith, didn't you? Nobody treats me like a droid and gets away with it. I was still a child then. Small enough to stow away on a supply ship leaving Imperial space. Lived in lots of bad places until I met Master Coix. She brought me to the Jedi. Changed my life. Does she know who you are? Who you were? Did you tell Master Quicks about your past? No. How would I even begin? Uh, by the way, I was born a Sith. Is that a problem? That's his thought. I always knew sooner or later I'd have to come clean. Just hoped I could prove myself as a Jedi first. Now the Emperor knows where I am. The Sith will never stop hunting me. I won't let them touch you, Kira. I promise. You're my Padawan, Kira. I made a promise to keep you safe. I know I haven't been a great Padawan, but I'm going to try harder. I'm ready to tell the truth. To Master Kawix, the Jedi Council, everyone. No more secrets. We should probably let the General know he's not getting his Admiral. He must have known. And it's weird that... Well, yeah, I used an emotional response and then... I guess... I'm going to the dark side. Mm -hmm. Oh well. Not supposed to be attached. They keep say saying that. The Admiral was never here, General. This was a trap. Last. I'm sorry for putting you in harm's way on a lie. It won't happen again. Did you? I'm afraid you... there's more bad news. Your oh. Jedi Masters both missed their last two comm checks. No. That isn't like Master Kawix. What planet did you send her to? Tatooine. Master Orgus went to Alderaan. I need you to find out what's happened to them and our weapon labs. Yeah, well, we've got business on Titan first. Understood, General. But first, I need to consult with the Jedi Council on an important matter. More important than saving the galaxy from Darth Angrel? Yeah. I'd like to know what that is. I'm not going to talk about that. Not on an unsecure channel. Sorry, General. Jedi business. Fine, if that's how you want to play it. Angrel's still up there. May the Force be with us all. Barsuth, we're out. Let's get this over with. Master Quix and Orgus need our help. I'll be meditating in my quarters. Let me know when we're at Tython. I think you'll notice, Kira. <laughs> all right. Uh, Titan next. That's going to be interesting. Wait, are you having second thoughts, Kira? You're dragging your feet. Did you know that? It's going to be okay. Yeah. Master Satil, my mission has become more complicated. Masters Orgus and Coix have disappeared. I'm headed for Tatooine and Alderaan to find them. But first, my Padawan has something important to tell you. Kira? I was born on Droman Cause. My parents were Sith. Ooh, much easier the second time. There's more, obviously. I should hope so. Give me time to assemble the Council. Most of us are still off-world. And then my master convinced me to come here and tell you. That's pretty much everything. We've heard rumors about these children of the Emperor before. But this finally confirms their existence. Troubling that we never sensed the truth about Kira when Master Kuix brought her to us. That makes her especially dangerous. She can't be allowed to remain free. Kira's master should have a voice in this. What do you recommend? She didn't hide her true self. That's why you didn't pick up on it. The situation doesn't require a reaction. I just thought you should know the truth. And now that we know, we can't ignore the threat she represents to our entire order. To allow her to remain a Padawan, become a Jedi Knight? It's inconceivable. Is it? Did we not first learn of the children of the Emperor from a Sith turn to the light? Master Braga speaks the truth. No one is beyond redemption. It was natural for you to fear our reaction, considering your upbringing. What's important now is that you leave your past behind and devote yourself to the Jedi. 
Can you do that? I've been trying to ever since Master Quix found me. She's already done that for years. Kira's a good Padawan. I trust her with my life. There you have it. I need no further proof of Kira's loyalty. Agreed. And I believe the best course of action is to leave Kira where she is. This is a mistake. If Master Kawix were here, she'd tell you the same. I don't Until think so. Until she returns, this council's ruling stands. Kira is safest in your care. Thank you, Master. I appreciate you giving her another chance. I promise I'll make you all proud. Even you, Master Caden. <laughs> you did well bringing this to us, but you should return to your mission. May the Force be with you on Tatooine and Alderaan. Alright, Kira. Not bad. Not bad at all. So, uh, you relieved now, huh? The truth is out there. You don't have to worry about it. Y you're not convinced, Kira? Come on. I'll help you with that. Notice the risk you took by standing up for me. I felt Aww. stronger having you there. You're a good master. And a good friend. Well, you're a good friend as well. We're in this together. I know you'd do the same for me. I would now. After this, I owe you a few dozen. I should be dead or worse a thousand times over. The first months after I escaped Korriban? <laughs> Exciting. Not easy staying alive when you're a ten-year-old Sith fugitive. No friends, no food, no home. How did you flee the Sith? Leaving Korriban sounds hard enough. How'd you manage that? Helps if you're small. A head for Imperial transport schedules doesn't hurt. One day, a big freighter dropped off slaves and left with a stowaway. Jumped ship on Nar Shaddaa. Spent eight years sleeping in alleys. Eight years? Good times. Finally got caught stealing a starship hyperdrive. <laughs> Should have seen Master Kowik's face. So that's how you met her. I wondered how you two found each other. Stealing from a Jedi. That took some fortitude. Didn't know she was a Jedi. Lots of people wear robes. Still remember when Master Kowix realized I was Force-sensitive and asked me to be her Padawan. It was... weird. Nobody ever gave me a choice before. Still getting used to that. <laughs> yeah, it's why we fight. If the Empire conquers the galaxy, freedom will be the first casualty. Along with Phaseball Mom and Sweet Flatcakes. Right. I get it. <laughs> Point is, I know what I'd be if I weren't a Jedi. And I'm never going back. You're not like most Jedi. Thanks. That's a compliment. No offense to the Council, but if I stood around moralizing all day, I'd need a padded zero-G cell. <laughs> you and me both. I'd rather be out in the galaxy making a difference. All I'm saying is, using the Force can be fun. The Order needs to lighten up. Someday I'll put a shock buzzer in Master Satil's chair just to liven things up. You better have uh -oh. my back. <laughs> we'll see about that, Kira. Yeah, yeah. On words to Tatooine. Gonna be nice with some blue sky. Lots of blue sky and sand, but let's stay positive. General, I'm on Tatooine. Has Master Quix reported in? Last we heard, Quix secured our weapons research facility. She's missed every comm check since then. Enemy action is the most likely scenario, but on Tatooine, anything's possible. Why would a project be here, then? 
If it's so dangerous, why pick it for your weapons facility? Tatooine has millions of uninhabited kilometers. Perfect for our research. Dr. Godera will brief you on the weapons project. Doctor? The research facility on Tatooine has created a device codenamed the Shock Drum. The Shock Drum. The weapon discharges massive ultrasonic vibrations into the ground. It damages enemy fortifications at a microscopic level, quite literally softening them up. Mm. Another weapon? The vibrations will cripple people if they're close enough. But that's not all. The shock drum eventually disrupts the planetary core. At critical mass, the core explodes. Uh... Oh, that's bad news. Were you planning to destroy Tatooine? Of course not. When we discovered this potential, we immediately stopped testing. However, there's a fully operational shock drum prototype at our facility. If Darth Angrel has captured it, the results will be catastrophic. With no word from the facility or Master Kawix, we must assume the worst. I sense Master Kawix through the Force, but it's faint. I think she's dying. Can you sense where she is? Can you feel her surroundings? Where is she? Not sure. Somewhere dark. It's taking everything she has to stay alive. I don't have any Republic contacts there to assist you. You're on your own. Our facility is located in a remote part of the desert. I'm transmitting the coordinates. Good luck. Marsuthra, out. So we've got a potential planet destroyer and a dying master. All right. Next time, guys. <laughs> Take care, and thanks for watching.